how important do you think uh, accountability is? We talked about that a little bit earlier. Um, not just accountability, but having kind of a support system, like a group of people maybe that are like-minded or that are also kind of working on the same sorts of goals. Um, to me, that seems to be really valuable uh, in 100%. my life. And so, uh, without it, that would be, it would be so hard to go it alone. Mentorship, mentorship is one thing. Peer group is another, mm -hmm. right? And we have to be able to learn and differentiate who is a mentor and who is a peer. And they mm -hmm. both have their place and they're both as equal, but oppositely important, right? A mentor is somebody who can, who can help guide you along the way, you know, and give you a path or help you um, with the you roadmap, know, like help you kind of design <laughs> or help yeah. you navigate, right? The roadmap of where you want to be. Mm -hmm. the, the peer is like, okay. And, and it's so weird. I'm using so many like car and travel analogies right now, but like <laughs> the peer that's your, that's your ride or die, right? That's, that's the dude that jumps in the passenger seat and says, I got shotgun and they're with you every step of the way. They're helping you decipher the roadmap. They're the guy or gal or the car full of people that are, you know, that are singing along to every song on the radio, so to speak. They're the guys, they're the ones cheering you on. They're the ones that are giving you the constant critique um, and input and, and helping you along the way. They're the people yeah. that you go to the range with. They're the people that yeah. you dry fire with. They, they're the people that you might do an online, you know, like an online, I don't know, Skype session with where you just, yeah. maybe you're FaceTiming each other and you're like, okay, cool. We're going to do a 30 minute dry fire session, you know, just, just the two of us or the three of us or whatever. And mm -hmm. I mean, that, that is, that's really cool to have, you know, the, the peer yeah. guy, the peer group is the people that are like, they're making you accountable, right? They're like, they're mm -hmm. the gym partner. When you don't want to go to the gym because you've just been working so hard all day and you're <laughs> tired, right? It's that guy that's going, hey, it's seven o'clock. We got to go to the gym. Let's go yeah. right now. Like, but I don't want to. And he's like, yeah, but I didn't want it yesterday and you made me go. So yeah. now I'm going to make you go. And yeah. I've had those along the way. And it's, they're, they're needed, you know? I mean, they, they, are, they yeah. make you accountable, but at the same time, you get to hold them accountable, which also improves your accountability as well. <laughs> you let them down, right. You, right. Whether it's you're letting yourself down or you're letting them down. So yeah, I got you. you're going to do, you're all in this together. Right. And you have to be honest too, which is hard sometimes. I mean, you need people that are really brutally honest with you in a loving way, <laughs> but, uh, and you have to be honest as well, because if all you're doing is massaging each other's egos, you know, uh, then that really doesn't do anybody any good in the long run. I don't think so. If, I think if, that's for, for a group, right. We call that like, especially like in the social media context, we call that echo chambers. Yeah. Nobody likes an echo chamber, right? Because mm -hmm. an echo chamber is everybody patting each other on the back mm -hmm. and they're breaking each other's arms to pat each other on the back for how good of a job they are doing or how much mm -hmm. of a subject matter expert they are, but nobody's growing. It right. is a, an echo chamber is a stagnant group of people who just, they, they think they're doing better, but they're not right. Mm -hmm. I want to be challenged all the time, whether it's from yeah. instructors, whether mm -hmm. it's from students, whether it's from friends and peers, um, you know, I, I just all, all along the way. And I, I do a pretty good job of being able to challenge myself all the time too. But mm -hmm. it's it's great when you've got kind of that accountability coach as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. And I think too that the people that are most honest with you uh, and that are also good friends, the people that have changed me and helped me the most have been the people that really made me mad at times because oh, they tell you, you know. all this stuff you don't want to hear, but it's the truth. Yep. You know? Yep. Yeah. My closest, my, my, my best friend, um, is, is AJ Zito and I get to teach with AJ quite a bit and AJ and I, because I mean, he lives like six hours away from me in Prescott, Arizona. I, I live at just, uh, just East of Albuquerque. But, uh, I mean, we, we call and talk to each other probably two times a week at least. And it's not like a, Hey bro, how you doing? How's the family? Okay, good. Great. It, yeah. I mean, like we're on the phone. I actually, we talked yesterday for two and a half hours. Right. Wow. And it's everything. It's like, how was this? How was that? How's work going? And whether we're, we're holding each other accountable for our businesses. Right. And mm -hmm. or we're holding each other accountable for instructorship and mentorship or, you know, like he'll like, hey, man, I just saw that video you shared with me, you know, yesterday. And like, what the hell, man, that was awesome. And then it's <laughs> like, but bro, I noticed a couple of things, you know, and I'm like, uh -huh. oh, I don't uh -huh. want to hear this. You know, like, <laughs> But it's, it's good. Like it, it, 
again, it's it's that constant camaraderie and yeah. love and mm-hmm. passion for the yeah, it's out of love that it's helps all, love. Us all yeah all grow together, right? Yeah. And it yeah, at the same time, like I'll send him something where I'm like, dude, take a look at this. And he'll he might even just send me a text back and be like, bro, what were you thinking? And I'll be like, <laughs> I wasn't. And I'll be like, so why did you do that? And it could be anything. Like maybe I spent 700 rounds trying to shoot like three pieces of steel, you know, yeah. in one practice session. And he's like, do you realize how ridiculous you just looked right now? And I'm like, <laughs> yes, yes, very much so. And so sometimes, sometimes you need that kind of that tug to get you back out of the clouds too. Yeah, know? definitely. And Balance like, is for key. me. AJ's that guy. Yeah. Yeah. You know? 